We're here at Moms to Be and More in Toronto with Karen Judd, the owner of Moms to Be and More. It's a great baby store and they have a lot of potty products. So I thought, why not ask Karen what are some of the best potty products for us to consider? Okay. Well, I think first of all, once the child has shown some interest, the realistic three-stage step. Okay. For the parents, the first thing is to control liquid intake, and then that way we have some control over that part of the program. Okay. And then, uh, first of all, we have to be down on the ground. So the little ones are down there, and to get them to control, they need to be able to break away with the independence and be able to do it themselves. Okay. So if they have a down on the floor potty, then they're able to deal with it themselves right away without coming to you. In the meantime, the program is lost because they've had to run to you. Next step is that once we've got control of that and they start really asking to use the big girl or big boy um, bathroom facilities, you're totally able to then go to the step stool with the on the toilet facility so that they're able to turn around and get themselves on. And you're still gonna have to hold them because sometimes it shifts a bit, but on the whole, that's the big person program. And maybe Karen, you could take us through a couple sure. of the different potties that you Would have love to. Great. The fold-up seat does a couple of things, so hygiene-wise it keeps them off the actual public toilet, which of course we have no idea who's used it, and on top of that, they're going to fall in if we don't decrease the size of the hole. So if you have a fold-up like this, which basically gives you a nice soft seat so they're comfortable, but it folds up nice and small so that you're able to put it in your purse, um, then it's a lot easier and you can disinfect and be controlling. So Karen, you mentioned starting on the ground, so yeah. maybe you could show me a little bit what you meant by that and what For my sure. options are. So a very basic um, on the ground European style potty. This one has a back to it. So they're just relaxing and they decide to lean back. They're not scaring themselves by tipping off the back end. And then this is removable so that we're able to take it, tip, clean it out and put back in again. So it's a very simple, but a very solid um, design to a potty. And then we have this option here, which looks like it yeah. does a lot of different this things. This is kind of a multitasking unit, a little bit of an econo potty. So if you wanted to get a two in one, same concept sits on the ground, a nice wide base, so that when they sit down, they're not tipping and feeling uncomfortable. And then as they're getting better at it, we can move on to that next stage really, really easily. This comes off and you're able to sit it right on the toilet using this as your step stool and using this as your soft potty seat. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. So thanks, Karen, for walking me through. You're very welcome. I feel like I have a better <laughs> handle on what we need. I'm probably going to buy something on the way out. That's great, and good luck with the potty training. Thank you. <laughs>